my name is Lisa Vergeer and I'm the owner of Azul Interiors. Welcome to my home. Inside you'll see a warm contemporary style, neutral tones, a lot of wood, and glimpses of gold. This home is a labor of love. I can't wait to show you what I've done inside. So one of the first things that you'll notice in the home is all of the windows and the light and brightness of the property. The living room space as a whole was really designed to be accommodating to our family of four or to entertain for dozens of people. One of the themes that you'll notice throughout the home is wood and dark elements, and they flow right through starting at our kitchen. That's where the parties start as well. Follow me. Since entertaining is a really big part of what we do here, the kitchen was a big deal for me. When we purchased the home, the kitchen was a very closed in space, so the first thing we did was open up the wall to allow easy flow of conversation. I've never actually used open shelving in my own homes before, but we decided to give it a shot here and we actually love it. I used a dark blue-gray cabinetry color, we added some quartz countertops and some gold fixtures. It adds a little sizzle, a little pop, and a lot of shine. The island is the main gathering point in our home, and when the four walnut chairs we have aren't enough, the overflow moves towards the dining nook. The dining nook was an element that wasn't here originally, and we decided to build in the banquette to give us more of a cozy space to gather with our family. So I originally purchased this light, thinking it might be great above the island. Unfortunately, it didn't work out there, but it looks fabulous above the dining nook. And yet another area where friends love to gather is what I like to call the conversation lounge. Pretty fancy, huh? The conversation lounge is one of the only places that you'll find leather in our home. I think it adds a touch of glam as well as with the gold leg accents. We also have some succulents where we brought a bit of the outdoors in. The feeling that we're going for is relaxed, upscale, sort of like you're at a bar or a club but without the disco lights but we do have entertainment hidden here in this coffee table. And hey, even big kids like to play board games too. As the party unwinds, our guests like to relax in our living area. The focal point of the living room is this new linear gas fireplace. We used walnut wood elements in storage underneath the fireplace. My favorite part of the living room is this cozy sofa that has enough room for our family plus any guests that might be lingering. And tying it all in together is this fun rug. I love the colors and I also love the fact that the pattern was a little bit unique for the home and a fun feast for the eyes. Even though we love to entertain, I also like some me time, so I've created a space that allows me to get away. Come follow me. This master suite is all about relaxation and comfort. The bed is a herringbone pattern in warm tones that I thought really added a little bit of fun while still being subtle. I love all the light and green that comes in from the exterior, so I decided to use whites, creams, and natural tones. I really wanted a bit of a tropical vibe in the room, so we decided to go with fun tropical prints on the walls. Looking at these prints reminds me of a vacation, maybe Palm Springs in the 60s. Speaking of vacation, let's go make a cocktail. Thanks so much for coming out to enjoy the tour of my house. I really enjoyed having you and I can't wait to see you all again soon. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?